In today's video, we're going to look at transformations of graphs, and we're going to look at minus f of x. So if you had y equals x squared, and x was equal to 3, you'd get 3 squared, which is 9, so y would be equal to 9. However, if you had y equals minus x squared, and x is equal to 3, you'd get 3 squared is 9, but then you'd have the minus sign, so it'd be minus 9. Notice these signs, one's 9, and one's minus 9. So if you do the transformation y equals minus f of x, the y coordinate changes sign. And the effect that has on the overall graph is the graph is reflected or flipped in the x-axis. So here's an example. If you had f of x and the heights were here, so just say all positive, and perhaps it crossed uh, the y-axis at uh, perhaps it crossed the y-axis at uh, two, then if you do minus f of x, all the heights would change sign. So if this is a height of two, it would now have a height of minus two. If this had a height of 2.5, it would now have a height of minus 2.5, and so on. So the graph would be reflected in the x-axis. Let's have a look at some exam questions. So here's an exam question. A uh, graph's been drawn for you, and it goes through the origin, the coordinate 6, 0, so across the x-axis it's 6 as well, and it has a minimum point of 3, minus 1. And you've been asked to draw the graph after the transformation minus f of x. So that's going to change the heights, uh, the signs of all the heights. So if it was positive, it'll now become negative. If it was negative, it'll now become positive. So the graph will be reflected in the x-axis. So the two um, x-intercepts will stay the same. So it'll still cross at 0, and it'll still cross at 6. The minimum point was 3 across, 1 down. That'll now be 3 across and 1 up because it's reflected. So three across and one up. And the overall shape of the graph would be flipped over, so it would look something like this. And that's it. So we've reflected the graph in the x-axis, so we've done the transformation, y equals minus f of x. Notice that the values on the x-axis will stay the same whenever you do this. Okay, next. This time we've got the graph y equals f of x. And it actually looks like the graph one over x, it's a reciprocal graph. And we're going to do the transformation y equals minus f of x. So we're going to reflect it in the x-axis. So this section will be reflected down, and this section will be reflected up. So the graph would look something like this. Okay, so we reflected this side. All the heights were positive, now they're negative. All the heights were negative, now they're positive. Okay, now last one. Sometimes you're actually given what the equation of the curve is rather than or the graph is rather than actually giving just f of x. So here we've got y equals 2 over x, and then you've been asked to draw y equals minus 2 over x. Notice that they've just put a minus sign in front of the function. That means that all we're going to do is do the same transformation, so we're going to reflect it in the x-axis. So again, it would look something like this, and something like this. Okay. So if you have got an exam question or any question, um, a function, and then they ask you to draw that function and put a minus sign in front of the whole thing, uh, then what would the effect it would have would be reflected in the x-axis, like so.